We're going right back to the exact same chart we looked at just a moment ago, finding swing points A and B. We connected them uh, with the Fibonacci retracement tool, connecting precisely to the outside extremes here. So we have got uh, Fibonacci retracement levels plotted. Uh, in this example, not all of them, but we've got the 23.6, 38.2, 50, and 61.8. I apologize, it's probably a little hard to see all this. Uh, these examples start to get a little bit messy. So we're just going to extend those levels out, but you can recall that that was our swing point A and that was our swing point B. So those arrows at least show us the uh, actual connection points. And we've got the different Fibonacci levels. So we've got the swing point low comprising B. Price initially bounced up, then it started drifting around since. So what we're doing is we're just we're just looking at all these levels. Now, in addition to the Fibonacci levels, which you can see here with these faint dashed black lines, uh, I want to make sure I'm capturing any old highs or lows of significance. So again, if I'm bearish, I'm looking for a confluence of resistance. I, I'm probably looking for just resistance levels right now. I'm not looking for support levels unless they're old support levels which could form resistance like so. So these wider dashed red lines are exactly that. Old lows in the background which were support sometime in the past but now uh, could turn into resistance because of what we call the polarity principle. Broken support turning into resistance. Price first crashes through and comes back and tests those levels before continuing on.
convergence on a swing point high hitting a confluence of resistance loosely speaking comprised of the weekly central pivot and the Fibonacci 78.6%. So what we do then uh, from the open of the first four hour bar that confirms it onwards we drill down lower looking for an entry trigger uh, if we're lucky it'll occur on the hourly chart I'm guessing looking at this chart it probably doesn't because it's such a sharp down move and if you've got instead of a triple screen a quad screen in other words not only bearish momentum on the four hour chart but also on the hourly chart then you just simply keep drilling down to the next lower time frame and you look for on the 15 minute chart a, a stochastics reading like this which confirms a valid upside retracement you should be able to find swing points A and B of that fractal retracement on that time frame which will help you grab a low level entry point and then we're just writing it down to our respective targets here which would be um, the Fibonacci 0% and Fibonacci 27% like so okay but I hope that gives you just a, a kind of a real world sense of how once we have swing point B in place once we have the Fibonacci retracement levels in place we then go looking for other levels which might kick in in this case uh, the old lows as resistance didn't work but certainly weekly pivots did and uh, once we get a swing point reversal and or uh, some type of confirming uh, momentum reversal reading then we should be able to approach the trade with a greater degree of confidence that the in this case the downtrend continuation expected is indeed underway